What's up guys, greetings from the CS 2016, we're here on the Oculus booth and I had a look here at this engineering sample of Oculus Rift. Looks pretty awesome, so much different than the Dev Kit 2 I've had and yeah, it's still an engineering sample so if there's something different to the final product, please don't mind that. Now, it's pretty cool because it comes now with some kind of fixed head strap which we can still adjust but it's not made out of a normal band like skiing glasses, it's actually um, plastic or rubber here and it also comes with um, speakers which you can adjust and you get here the full immersed experience so that's pretty cool and the head strap yeah it feels it feels actually way better than DevKit 2 because um, it's not just sliding around between your eyes or whatever um, there's also a little switch here or something like that which you can slide around at the bottom of this device here and this is actually to adjust the um, glasses so um, the lenses, sorry, um, to adjust the IPD. You know, every person has a different IPD and to get the best experience you need um, act actually adjustable um, lenses. Alright, so this is the whole product. Looks pretty cool. Engineering sample, still not the final version, but I would say let's just jump in, let's try it out and let's have a closer look on how it feels to play with Oculus Rift. Alright guys, so we're now here testing Oculus. Still an engineering sample, but it looks absolutely awesome. 2K display, there is no visible pixel grid anymore. Still, it's not some super sharp experience, but looks absolutely cool. We're now playing Edge of Nova, but yeah, um, if you've seen my video from the Gamescom, I played EVE, and here's another demo I'm trying out today. So let's just go, and let's see how the experience is on this one. And there we go. Oh, looks pretty cool. Edge of Nowhere. I have no idea what that game is about, but <laughs> let's just go. That's pretty cool that you have sound, but it's a little bit hard to adjust here. Alright, that looks awesome. And the head tracking works really good, just like on the dev kit too. Really awesome. Oh my god. That's so cool, that's just a person standing, you can just move your head. And, oh, okay, so we are moving. And I don't feel, I absolutely don't feel motion sick, but actually I don't even get motion sick on the dev kit too. Okay, so I think I have to go somewhere here. Ah, okay, I'm the person. <laughs> I thought it's um, first, oh my god. So it feels a bit strange if you're controlling a third per person guy, and if actually the camera is behind you. It's a really strange experience. And there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> if you look down, that's cool. So, we just try to escape here and everything is falling apart. We are on a mountain and there are a lot of ice blocks. Now we're climbing up a ladder and if you, if you watch down, this is like you would stand on the cliff of the Grand Canyon. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. But let's just go and let's continue here. Oh. Oh, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> I was just falling down the bridge. I think the game is over now, right? No? Okay, it just restarts. So, um, actually, I thought it's more immersed when you fall down, but, oh, oh wow, that... <laughs> and uh, I was falling down again. But no, now we'll do it. Now let's go, guys. There we go. Okay. Alright, jumping is not a good idea, I think. Come on. Yeah, we made it. And... Okay, we are now here across the bridge. I think I can fully turn my head around. Oh, that's pretty cool. So full 360 degree view. And let's enter this cave here. Okay, now that's pretty cool. Now you feel really immersed because, wow, it's like you would be in the cave. It would be even more awesome if this game would be ego perspective. And all oh, the torch, everything is looking cool. I, I, if, I've, if I would play this on the dev kit too, I think the flames from the torch and everything would look very crappy, but here on that engineering sample of 2K display it looks absolutely awesome. And there we go, I hope this won't get too scary because it's really dark inside here. And there we go. Alright. I think in the next second something is falling down or whatever. It's too quiet here. <laughs> oh my god. It's All right. So it's just a dark cave. There are some, yeah, dead bodies. And there we go. It's just too quiet in here. 
something will happen. But it's so cool that you can move your head in if you want to have a close look at something. So the head track, oh, holy crap. The head tracking is working really, really good. And I still think the resolution could be a little bit better, but it looks awesome. Okay, that's a rope. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> we're just sliding down the rope into a canyon, and it's like we're going down there 100 meters, 200 meters. I don't know. It looks absolutely crazy. Wow. Pretty cool. Also pretty scary. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow. We lost the torch. We're now hanging on the rope. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Wow. Okay, n now we have to run, there are some kind of animals or monsters coming. Alright, there we go, I have no idea where to go. <laughs> and they're really behind me, this is really scary. Okay, jump, jump, jump. It's, the camera is not following, following exactly, um, so this is a, a bit strange, because you're actually looking at the person from the side, sometimes, oh, oh my god! <laughs> And there we go. Okay. What the hell is that? That's some ultra huge monster. <laughs> so, the monster has some really long arms, if I can say like that, or testicles, and it just wanted to grab me and it was like coming into my face. <laughs> Absolutely cool. Oh, cool. And there we go. It's still the best experience if you're in a complete dark room and if the walls are very close then you feel totally immersed. That's so cool. Ah, uh, what's that? A living room? Oh, nice. That game is so freaking cool. I think you need to get it. I have no idea what's going on there. It's, it's so crazy. That's, oh, there's some testicles. <laughs> it looks really like I would be able to touch them. Oh my god. Edge of Nova, a VR adventure, and now it's over. I got eaten by an animal or something like that, but pretty cool experience. Alright guys, this was a quick look at this Oculus still engineering sample, but already very nice, and we're definitely looking forward to the final pro um, product. One question, what's the Switch here? Because I've never seen that. Okay, no idea guys, but we're going to find it out. Pretty cool thing, check it out, link down below in the description, see you soon.